Hey everyone, well, welcome back to the channel. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're gonna see if we can do some bouncy hunter missions. Um, and obviously other stuff. Main story. Maybe hunt some animals. I don't really know. Um, we'll just see what we'll get up to today. Uh, see how long we're on it for. And let's continue the story. Let's get it. So previously we uh, <coughs> we found a couple of the uh, legendary gunslingers. We found a uh, black bell, I think she was called, or something. Uh, helps her defend her land. Managed to take a photo of her, and then uh, we found a Billy Midnight, I think it was, <coughs> drunk on the train. Um, when we went to ask him about his. Uh, Wild West stories, he uh, panicked and ran on the train. Uh, and then he, he drew on us, we ended up killing him. But the first time we did it, uh, I didn't press the button fast enough to fill up the meter and we got killed ourselves. So we had to redo that. Um, and then we ended up playing a bit of poker, uh, won a few hands on poker, and then rescued a reverend from a train bridge that he got his foot stuck in, almost got hit by a train. And we discovered roads. We discovered roads. So on this one, we will do the Valentine to Roads run. We gotta do it in five minutes. See if we can get that uh, mission done. On this one. See, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. <clears throat> uh, we also spent a shed load of money uh, upgrading our weapons. We got a varmint rifle, so we, we could now kill rabbits and foxes and all that lot. Or at least try to. Um, pump action shotgun, some other stuff. All good, all the good stuff, you know, you know what it is. Oh yeah, we're still we're still in uh still in roads, aren't we? Um uh, Oh yeah, it's not a question. I'm thinking I was playing Spider Man the other day. <laughs> Pressing touchpad to uh think uh, yes, yeah, so, oh no, so we're actually in Valentine actually. I thought we was actually in Rhodes, but oh no, we're in Valentine. Right, so we need to head from Valentine to Senor Rhodes, which is down here. Um, I'm not sure exactly where um, <clears throat> it is, but I think if I remember correctly, the best way to go it is along the train track. So what we'll do is we'll go visit this question mark, whatever that is, and then we'll jump on our horse and see what magic we can do today with uh, Arthur Morgan. Maybe re-customise our gun again. Come on, open up. Here. Now you go keep the people safe. You better all be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you tomorrow. So what we'll do is we'll go into the uh, <clears throat> gun shop, we'll try and customise our guns, make them a little more powerful if possible, a bit more accurate. Um, and then... New to the shop? Well, it's really the catalogue you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Nah, I want to customise my weapons, dude. So, we've got the double action revolver, which is the main one we've been kind of using at the minute. Um, volcanic pistol has got massive damage. Carbine repeater. Lancaster. How's the Lancaster repeater got less damage than. Hang on. 
How has the Carbine Repeater got more damage than the Lancaster? Is it... Is this because we're... Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Right, let's see you know if we what? can increase the damage. I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. I thought the, uh... See, that doesn't make no difference to it. I'm surprised because the Lancaster repeater says it's got more damage. Alright, let's put, if we put iron sight on it. That just increases the accuracy of it. Ah, I didn't realise it was... <coughs> style. Uh, no. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Ooh, express cartridges. Up on extra <coughs> it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Right, so, um... See, double barrel. Pump, see, pump action's less as well. You think you'd think it. You tinks it. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh, the cattleman is less than the, the. See, the cattleman's more than what the the double action is. That's weird. That is that because it's got better ammo or what? Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more can do. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Let's have a look at the Kalman revolver. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. See, even bog standard. On extra ammo. Even bog... How, how is it, right, that these DLC guns are worse than the fucking gear... Sorry. That are worse than the guns in the... Uh, than the DLC guns. And the DLC guns look a hell of a lot better. Right, so if I clean this, you keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. <laughs> That's a long barrel. That's a long barrel, that. Any information about anything, anything at all, you can give me a shout. Uh, does it really matter about accuracy? So, that gives you slightly bit more accuracy. I'm quite disappointed with this gun, to be honest. I thought it was actually a pretty decent gun. I'm really disappointed with it. That's pretty bad, that, that Catalman Revolver's better damage and... The only difference is, is that the double action's got a bit better fire rate. So, beautiful condition. Keep it up. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Barrel. So a bang that on it. Uh see I don't I don't like long guns. That the gun looks it looks ridiculous having it such a length like that. Just for a tiny bit more accuracy. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. We'll bang the accuracy on that to get a little bit better accuracy. Uh, style. Metal. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Blue steel. I like the blue steel. Twenty six. Let's zoom out. 
That looks nice. Uh, silver. Nah. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Alright, so we'll go blue steel on the lot. And then we'll bang some engravings on it. Go for some poker. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfields. <clears throat> See, I don't even, I don't even think that looks good. I, I thought, I think you'd, I think you'd tarnish it. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Snake, scor scorpion. Hmm. Um. Varnish. I might bang a pearl and lay on it, actually. Uh. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Carving, let's see what a carving looks like. You want to make this like. really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Puma. See, I like a stag. That stag's quite nice. We'll bang a stag on it. <laughs> Spending all that money on one gun. Uh, can't buy any shit. Ammunition. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Alright, uh, so. If we use express cartridges. It's going to do the same, even more damage. But we, the high velocity does a bit better range. Um, to be honest, I'm very disappointed uh, that it's... The car, I'm quite surprised the carbine repeater is be better, like child, right? better than the Lancaster repeater. <sighs> right, so we spent a bit of money on that. We're going to leave that now. Oh, wait. Uh, You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? I've just spent all my money on, uh... Okay. Need to close it, let's go. I've spent all my money on the gun. Oh, looks like there's another bounty. Um... Look here. You want to catch another center bounty hunter? Take a gander at the poster there. Let's have a look. Hey, mister. That all? You again? Ain't you got a magic potion to get you out of here? <laughs> now, I'm not a magician, sir. I'm a medical man, a healer. And any <laughs> suggestion that my tinctures could cause harm is sheer balderdash. Balderdash. Well, let's figure that out. Good luck. <laughs> Right, so we'll go do another bounty while it's night time. Hopefully we won't get, uh lost. Uh, Ellie, I'm sure. Trouble, all right. Okay. Ellie, I'm sure, $25. Ellie, I'm sure, reward for $25. Paid. Probably the rest one for crime of matricide the above man will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner wanted a life for questioning known as a black widow she has been seen in the cumberland area falls with an unknown male who may be manipulating her okay so looks like we're gonna go capture uh that one they say she's sleeping rough near cumberland falls 
And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Be relentless in your Hello? pursuit. Have we got a hat with us? No, we've not. So, we shall go find this bounty. Uh, it's got a mat on the map. Uh, all the way down here. So, Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me. I'll show you. Okay, this took a bit of a turn, but we're going to see what's up with this guy. If, it, if this dude tries to rob us, then we'll kill him. Guess he had it coming. Yes. Yes, he did. So will you help me? Uh, I came this far. Okay. I'll get rid of him. You gotta help me, please. Let me check to see if he's got any uh, money on him. I'm begging you. I can't do this. I'm shaking like a leaf. Yeah. I'm gonna take the body. Don't worry. Jesus, she stabbed him right in the chest. I must really be losing my mind this time. You know, there's a pig pen not too far. Just dump the body in there and they'll eat him up in no time. Just in case someone does see us. Hey there, mister. Holy shit! Hey, you, hold up! Ah, oh, heck. Ah, oh, just Stay get away. out of here. I'm... Will you get away from me? Stop! Uh, now! You drunk or something? Come on! Listen to me, damn it. Please, stop! I presume that means yes. Sorry! Can't risk it. God damn it. So I've, in the end, I've killed two. Well, I've killed someone. She's killed someone. We're now literally conspirators, both of us. Did you do it? Please you tell me you did it. Two shits all damn here. Thank you. you Please, take it. Take all of it. $14 for murder. Let's hope I don't regret that. They were Let's go, girl. Hey there! Morning. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Good, that's all right. Find another spot for a lawyer. Find another spot for a lawyer.
So, we've helped a woman out uh, who she stabbed in the chest with like a knife or a fork or something. Um, dumped his body in a pig pen and then from then on, um, a witness saw us, went to investigate. We had to beat him up, ended up killing him, apparently. And then we robbed him, left his body in the street. Um, hey there, mister. So yeah, so a good start to the game. We've, we've helped a woman out, disposed of a body, and killed someone helping her out. And got, I only got $14 for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're okay, girl. Yeah, I remember the only thing is with this game. Oh there, mister. I remember, like I was saying, uh, the, the fact is, is if you if you if the horse doesn't jump over something, it can break his leg. If you don't make it run past a tree, it can crash into trees. Yeah. It's like proper Red Dead logic, and. Just walking past the dude that's camped by the road can cause you to end up in a fight with him. All you want to do is walk past and uh, mind your own business and all of a sudden you'll get attacked by the dude because he feels threatened because he builds a camp at the side of the road like a tool. And all he needed to do was move further off the road. Right, so we're coming up up to this bounty. Um, hang on a minute, I think I've just seen a a rubit. Okay. Uh, did I kill it? I'm sure if I hit it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I shot it in its ear. Give it a nice oh. uh, earring. But apparently, the um, see carbine repeater there. Yeah, look. So it's carbine repeater there. But then when you put Lancaster repeater, oh, it is actually. Okay, uh, so it is slightly better. Ah, that's a weird one, that. I, I always thought that, like, that Lancaster repeater was better than the normal carbine, but maybe it's not. Mrs. Swan, you like to come along with me? Ellen, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to make you go with the feller. Wow. wow. Cutie, that's uh, sad and little. You are a piece of work. Now, See that? She come up with a knife. In hell. Rot with the rest of them. Can't believe she just come up and move a knife. Jeez. Uh, good job I managed to knock her out and lasso her within a second. We'll take the coffee, loot anything else she's got. Uh,
take some Kentucky bourbon. Is there anything else here that we can, well, generously contribute to the uh, outlaw fund? Take cheese. Everybody loves cheese. Uh, can't take the apple, apparently. But we can loot her. This is uh, very kind of you. Oh, two silver earrings, snake oil. Cool. We shall. I shall give food to my horse. Right, let's um, pick her up. We'll take her back. You manhandle me. <clears throat> she causes any trouble, we'll knock her out. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? Be Bitch. <laughs> Save me. And moreover, from myself. Take this, sell it to a butcher. Every little helps. On, You're such a strong man. So tough and firm. Yes, yes I am. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. And that's why he tried to I'm knife me. Help him weep. But my problem's been how I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big, strong man like you, you'd set me straight, wouldn't you, Mister? Yep, like this. Put me on the straight and narrow. Mister, oh. help you're looking for. <laughs> So, we have captured her after she tried to stab us, after she knifed her own friend, well, I'm assuming he was a patsy, uh, after she knifed him in the neck, but his life wasn't, didn't go to waste basically, we uh, looted his body, took what we could. Um, Okay. 
she's awfully quiet. I think after being slapped around for three uh, three times has put her in a place. For the time being, anyway. Surprised she's not falling off, to be honest. I mean, look at the angle that she's on. And here we are, back at Valentine. Another bounty in our pocket. Another 25 bucks. Yeah, my horse needs a... Uh... We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. <laughs> I'm afraid I Come on, come on. Read all about it. I'll brush you for a couple of seconds, just the uh Get all the dirt off you. You're more valuable than what uh she is. Good horse. Right, so that's that. We'll pick her up. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She yeah. might be a little shaken up. She lost another fella out by the falls. Poor dear. They just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Where? Where's my 25 bucks, man? The Black Widow herself. Boom. This town's so starved. Of Let's have a look. Women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So. <laughs> it looks like. Let's go speak to the doctor. Good morning, sir. Howdy, partner. First time? Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. If you're going to want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look in my catalog. Just need a little something for the pain. I f can't you? I'm sure you can make remedies out of them. Uh... Might need to use some of this though for the horse race, so we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Um. So. <clears throat> um. We shall. Um. Sell this jack rabbit down to the butcher down here. Looks like you're gonna have some. And then we'll head out. To roads. Hello there. Wish they all came in like this. You bastard. Okay, girl. So, uh, I'm sure that's all. Uh, uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe it's disappeared. Uh, oh, it's this dude again, is it? Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but 
I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. You slept on your puppy? Really? What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. Really? A fine name. A strong name. Like a king. Damn right it is. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. <laughs> yes, you could. Right, so we're gonna um How you doing, friend? We're gonna use uh, brush our horse because we're about to that run. I'll try and do that run from How much dust has this horse got in it? Hello. So, hopefully that'll be enough to, um, to what's it called, to do the race. Right, so we've got five minutes. Uh, and we know we can catch it from heat, well, a bit further down. Uh, right, so... We're in Valentine. Uh, we can catch. I'm sure we can start it from the stagecoach. Um, down to road. If we put it there, then it's stagecoach. The stagecoach. We'll you. We'll run down there till we're on the track, and then we'll sprint down on the track and use the track as a guide to get us to there. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can. Uh, do it in the five minutes without destroying all the stamina. We have got a few tonics that I'm probably going to pop beforehand. Uh, I'm going to use that on it. Yields a gold core for a day, so we'll use that on it uh, when, when we get there. And hopefully, we'll do it in five minutes. So, are we ready? Okay, girl. Alright, so we'll give that. And away we go. Yeah. Right, so we're on the tracks. Hopefully a train doesn't come. Just make sure we're going the right way. Uh, 
Yes, we need to stay on that one. Not got time to see anybody else. I don't know how far away from uh, the thingy we are, but we're still going to hit the train track all the way. Or at least try to, unless the train comes. See if we can bang some stamina onto this horse. It's like we're gonna make it, I think we're just done. Boom! Yes we have! There you go, Valentine's Road, five minutes. Boom, done. <laughs> well, mounted drag a victim for 3,300 meters. Really? Right, so we've just done the horse challenge, whatever it was. Uh, that pretty good. We'll head back the way we come, maybe see if we can get back to there. We'll head to this dude, Emmett Granger, see, uh, see if we can find anything from him. Uh, maybe we'll get back to that dude that was robbing the coach, uh, so then we can rob it. I didn't really want to stop halfway through, unfortunately, because the, uh... Oh, I heard a shot over here. Let's go over there. Uh, hey there, Parker. You interested in a little friendly competition? Uh... We do have dead eye. But I do want to bang the cores up a bit. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd sure. you say? Oh. Well, we find out. Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Okay. Just outgunned. <laughs> I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? Sure. You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. 
How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me. We'll call it a day. Okay. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. <laughs> yeah, one, Thank two, us. nine. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. That's bull. Not bad, but not good enough. Maybe next time. Oh, well, you tried, but you lost. And now, you owe. Nah, you ain't getting my money. Hey, give me what's mine, you bastard. <laughs> And I'll take your hat as well. <laughs> All right, girl. So, uh, where was we? We was going <laughs> on the railroad. That was it. Uh, we should have had that. We clearly should have had that. But for some reason, it wouldn't lock onto the uh, others. It was slow. Uh, so what I might do is check the settings, see if we can get our sensitivity up a bit. Uh, change the emphasis for when you are aiming on foot. Uh, when using the, the mat revolver, choose whether you switch between them or no, I'm not bothered about that. Change the aim assist strength for when you are aiming while mounted. The higher the aim assist strength, the less accurate your shots will be to hit the target enemy, and easier it will be to keep your aim over the target. Change the aim assist strength for what you are aiming while mounted. The higher the aim assist strength, the less accurate your shots will need to be to hit the target enemy. Okay. Uh. Chin tags more of when you're aiming well on foot, normal, narrow, normal, narrow and wide will always try to lock onto the best enemy, free aim has no lock. Uh. Yeah, we'll just keep that normal, see how it goes. Uh, aim sensitivity. While in third person. Dead zone and just my dead zone while aiming whilst in third person. Aim sensitivity. We'll bang that up, see how see how it goes with that. That's a bit better, it's got a bit more free movement. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do is, you've got to be aware to bump the cores up. Alright, so these are the cores. Uh, Jolly Jack, that's what I think he did. Alright, so there's a rabbit. Uh, right, 
disarming rifle. I think that'll be three rabbits then that's done perfect. Uh... Oh god even. So that's hopefully should be that three rabbit uh quest done. Uh let's just get on our horse and get off the track. I don't really want to get hit to get hit by a train. Um so progress, uh, challenges, gambler, uh, right, so we've done three of ten on that, so what's the next one? Oh yeah, that's to drag someone for 3,300, however. Um, Master Hunter, this is the one we was after. Oh, three perfect, oh god damn it, so I need one more perfect rabbit pelt. Um, Alright, so I need to get a headshot on one of these rabbits. Try and find another rabbit, yeah. hopefully. Uh... That's a bit weird. Why are they stood there? Good plan, fellas. All right, so uh, I'm assuming they just was just trying to rob me, or uh, rob whoever was coming down the road, which just happened to be me. There's a chest, see if there's any goodies in here. Snake oil? What's snake oil? Uh. Right, so we'll bang this one of them snake oils on then. So it looks like we took everything we can from there. That's pretty, pretty shame. Should be able to take everything, really. Even if you've got too much of it, you should just be able to store it in your bag. Um, What I needed two animals, dead eye, done. Um, unfortunately, though, it was poor shooting on my heart, on my behalf. I just wanted to get it done, though. Um, so, I'll kill five flying birds while on a moving train. Right, okay. So, that's the next one we'll do.
Oh bad, down this way. Cool. Nothing good can come of it. Had him, Mister. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation too, if you hadn't noticed. We weren't always like that, though. We used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway. Used to be correct. Then there's a long over. Who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. Well, really? Not me. You can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. Really? I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. <laughs> you keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. Really? Damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. God All damn it. Right. Shovel your damn shit. <laughs> point nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children too. Animals? I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Really? Can't believe I'm shoveling shit. Pig, pig poo. I don't know what got into these arms, I need to stop swearing on the streams. <laughs> <laughs> I bash folks, butcher folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I. Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. If I a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you. And eating you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. Whew. <laughs> Okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this big star, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. <laughs> Damn, I'm quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick. You walk away right now. Place it in the your star. Don't do it. There you go. <laughs> no, 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 you did not. <laughs> 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 
Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, covered in pig crap. a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm going to enjoy it now. Draw. Draw. It's going to be the last thing you do. <laughs> Let's have a look. Granger's revolver. A rare cotton revolver with dark metal finish covering the custom engraving. Bruce on by late gun. To be stunned, you'll need a part next station. This gun has the ammo passes six rounds. Okay. So we've now got Granger's revolver, uh, double action, and the volcano pistol. Cool. So, yep. Um, I'm here, Harsey. Right, so I can put his revolver on you, you, and then I can pick my my gun up. Okay, so I think it doesn't matter then. So it doesn't really matter about uh, the. Uh, if you drop the weapon, uh, what do we need now? We need the uh, camera, don't we, to take a picture of him. Uh, well, we'll put. Let's do it from this way. Let you see, you see his face. Enable lock, R2, boom. It annoys me when he does that. Right, so, um, can, can we pick him up? See if he's got any goodies in here for us. Carbine repeater, we've already got a carbine repeater, we don't need another one. Uh search of drawers. Anything over here? Right, so that's it. Um See if I can feed him to the pigs. Nope, so you can't feed him to the pigs. Um yep. Oh yeah. Right, so he's dead now. That's uh, another legendary gunslinger killed by Arthur Morgan. Um Right, so, what's up this way? Um, I want to go back to camp, wherever it is. Uh, is that it? Camp memories wind, they'll often challenge each other's round. Okay. Right, so we're going to head back to camp for a bit of five finger filly. Uh, get ourselves cleaned up, uh, and then... We'll head over to one of these two.
One's it dead or alive? One's it dead or alive? One's it dead or alive? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll head over to Micah Bell, I think. Possibly. Or even. Because there's no one else up there. So, so no, we'll bang our winter clothes on, actually. We'll get back to camp, we'll put winter clothes on, we'll head up to the mountains, head back up here uh, for this Flanco dude. Let's kill Flaco. And if we find any, anyone on the way, then it's all good. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we've got poor energy, apparently. Easy girl. Easy girl. No, that's our energy. So, I think we're going to, uh, Yeah, we've got a, we've got ourselves a basic plan. So we'll head up in back up into the mountains with our winter claws. Who knows what's gonna happen? Um, find that legendary gun sl slinger, El Flaco, um, and then Look out there. it's me. Let's get this heavy thing off you, girl. Hold still! Pearson, let me see some more smoke for them, boys. Come on. This ain't funny. Oh, I disagree. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelden tongs? I thought you were the horse expert. <laughs> Oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you got balls anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like, that'd be enough. Get some food. Good there, Pearson. Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again with that bow. I know, I will. Right, so, uh, let's see what we've got. I haven't got received to... anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Can't wait to taste this. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pot. Good, Good job, Mr. Morgan. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Okay, so what do we need? Purchase. Oh, so we need to purchase lever working tools. And do we have enough money for Thank level working you, tools? Person. No, we don't. Um, just because I'm spending it all on... Uh... Uh, right, so... 
will change. Our clothes. Outfits. Right, so we'll delete that outfit. We'll keep that outfit. We'll equip that one. Um, grizzly, suitable for average temperatures. We need the winter one. There it is, winter gunslinger. Uh, we'll store that on the horse. We'll store that on the horse as well. Okay, so that's them. Uh, we'll keep the bid. We'll go play a five finger filly with Len Lenny and then we'll sort our horse out. Once we play five finger filly. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. Okay. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, Bye, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, yeah, I liked her. I know, kid. And I'm sorry about it. Anyway. Let's go. Come on. Complete the lap in the quickest time. Remember, if you want to back down, you just say the Next word. Next triangle, triangle. Ooh. <laughs> Damn it. All you. Okay. Okay, so why is it X triangle, X triangle, X triangle? Okay, round two, complete two laps. Lenny must stay in the game to win. X square. <laughs> oh, you little <laughs> Come on, Lenny. Okay, Lenny said time to beat, so why is it X square? Boom! Should we do 20 cents? Why not? Alright. You got your bandages ready? Mm. Oh, three triangles, two circles. Now, watch this. And we're staying again to win. Circle, circle, three circles, two squares. Here. Okay. Oh crap. That wasn't my best. Circle. Oh, you got to do it twice. Arthur beat Lenny's time wins the pot. <laughs> All right. I'm the man, Lenny. Although I did stab myself a few times, I, I didn't realise I was doing it twice. Uh, right, so. Um, Come on, girl. That 
Yes. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to the mountains, like I said. All the way up here. Uh, I'll try and get up to here. Uh, we've got our winter clothes if necessary. Um, try and find this flacco dude. Hi, El Flaco. And then... A name like Flaco, he's got to be a Mexican of some sort. I've never heard of an English Flaco. Um, but yeah, and his card, obviously, looks he looks Mexican. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, we're going to kill him. Oh, well, kill him. Talk to him, maybe. I don't know whether we've got to kill him. We've had to kill two out of the three that we've chatted to. Um... So maybe we will talk to him, maybe we'll end up having to kill him, who knows. Um, and that's all the gunslingers that we have asked to go speak to. And then we'll head back down to Valentine where there was a uh, person who was interested. Maybe we'll find out what Jim Boy Calloway or whatever he's called is uh, up to. Let's go over here and see what's over here. Wow. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but... but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? A hundred dollars? Well, I ain't promising nothing, but I'll see what I can do. There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale. Bye, then. I'll keep an eye out for that lumber. I appreciate it. Okay, so... Girl? Let's have a look at the map. Straight west of here. I don't see a marker on the map for it. Index. It's not on the index. Uh, there's only three missions. Missions. Maybe it's not showing up yet. Valentine. So, yep, yeah, let's head up into the mountains again. Hopefully, um, okay. Stop your barking. Hopefully, we can find a single flacco and go from there. Black or I'm here for you, SC. But I know we will need our winter gear because we're going back up into the wintry mountains and I know it affects your health a lot. So. Hi there, mister. These people were so unfriendly. It's not like I'm trying to rob him or anything. But what it does seem is that when I bring out that little um, lamp, 
it seems to make it a lot harder to see things in the dark so I think I'll leave the lamp off it because that's just brutal on the eyes um, yeah so We'll keep our guns ready just in case of any ambushes again. That's twice now I've been ambushed. Once by a bunch of strangers, once by the Adriscals. Managed to survive both of them. No, it's the third one actually. But yeah. I would have helped you as well, dude. I would have helped you, but instead, you played with fire, you got burnt. And we're going into the mountains now, so I think we need to change our gear to the winter. There you go, winter. Scope. That three star, it is as well, isn't it? No, that's a one star. Where's the three star gun? Right, so I think we'll come back for that. See, see what I mean? See what I mean? Stupid rock. And I've just injured my horse because of a stupid rock.
way up in the mountains. Good job there's a trail, isn't it? Imagine falling down that. But that would hurt. I say whistling. Yep. <laughs> this track seems pretty used. Studying from this range. Well, we have to go down this way anyway, so. Yeah. So let's try and find this flacco dude. How far away from him am I? We're quite how far up. Okay, there's a corpse there. Let's let's head to this corpse. Didn't expect to see a corpse there, but okay, we'll head out and see this corpse. Uh, Okay, it's a map. A panoramic map. Okay, was that it? It says reopen map. Why is it telling me to reopen it? Showing visual coordinates. Okay. Means nothing to me at the minute. Uh, shame that they froze to death. Um, it will It's not like they're looting, is it? Can we loot him? Nope. So, um, right, let's go find. Uh, what's he, what's his face? Black or?
Just wait a second, girl. Perfect book, pal. Stow it. We could take the carcass with us. Okay, but girl. we're not gonna. Too, too far to travel. Okay. Okay. Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. Didn't want to have to kill him. Blacko Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but. I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway. I'm unarmed. <laughs> well, I just want to talk. About Boy Calloway. Here's your message. Oh, back to Swede. Blackout revolver. Why does everyone need to fight? Why can't we just have peace? Oh, look at him. He curled over. For details, drawn out his cabin in the outlaw oh, flak on and this fight's a jewel. And gets his butt whooped. Okay, there's a map. Spec document. Treasure hunter. Open your satchel, look at the map and solve the clue to find the location. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in the back. So we need to find the first location, with, which looks like a face. Um, we got any premium cigarettes in here?
Anything else in here that we can steal? Borrow? Apart from the high velocity rifle rounds, because we don't we're not even using them. Uh, I think that's about it really. Um, it's a shame. So we've got Flacco's sidearm, uh, Granger's sidearm, which are identical, literally. So they're actually better, slightly better, than ours. Uh, so we'll keep Flacco's sidearm. Uh, we'll loot the camp, see if we can find anything else. I did see a box in here, I think. Black box. All this free stuff. The Lobo's dead. Um, Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. I think that's pretty much it uh, for this. Well, jobs are good in anyway. Uh, oh wait, there's seen. I've got a loot flack up. No, no, what? Let me loot flack up. Lying, lying to me, man. Um, so, it turns out we've uh, killed everyone up there. Uh, I think we just need to go back to... Is it Valentine? To the bar? Saloon or whatever? We'll head back that way. Um, Mike Bell, missions, corps. Okay. Yeah, we've got six corpses there. All dead. By the hands of Arthur Morgan. Um, right, so. Um, the only thing I'm thinking of is how we get them side missions up. Um, is it? Not that. It's not this either, I don't think. Uh, I want to find out how to get them quests up. Um, Dutchie's gang is the only only use grizzlies out there. You don't know. Me. Okay, stay alert. Fair to be quick on the draw. Encounter one gang ambush. Right, we've done that. Uh, gotta find more gang hideouts. There's more bounties to do. More strangers to visit. More missions to do. Uh, these are the collectibles. What I'm trying to find is where it shows. Um, like odd jobs, missions, or whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, I'm not too fussed about the horse. I don't think that's it. It might be story. No, it's not story because that's saving. 
Uh, I'll have to look it up to find out. Uh, right, we'll head back to uh, Valentine yeah. anyway. We've killed what's his face. Oh, wet. Easy now. God damn it. Uh, one star. Right, I'm gonna. Back in a minute.
and we're back. Uh. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's head back to Valentine. Uh. Might, if we see an, an elk or something, we'll shoot it, take it back, see if we can get some good meat for it. Good to be some wolves. Is that the camp we was at? I think it was. Yeah, it was. It was a camp that was at. Find some mountain elk or something, something we can take back anyway. Possibly take back to uh, our camp. Ooh, I see you. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Now I know it's not going to be the best because I've hit it three times. Probably poor, even. Sure, it won't take long. Right, so can we pick this animal up? No, we can't. Right, so... I thought we could pick it up. Right, so we'll go back in town, we'll sell the, these pelts. They're pretty rubbish pelts, to be honest. Uh, head back to camp, see if we've got anything, and then head out towards possibly Micah Bell or Javier Escuela. So one thing about this game though is the fast travel. There's no fast travel unless you're using them coaches or trains. So unfortunately all by horseback.
Yeah. Rocky Mountain ran. Coming back out of the mountains, finally. Looks like there's a person down there. Um, So we are now back in there. So okay, so we can't use it while we're trotting. And we're back to our normal outfit, which is good. Sell these pelts, get some money for it. Maybe do some other stuff as well, if we're lucky. Don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well. It ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from it. What? They come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. Well, I was just trying to greet you, but I mean, there's some weirdo. Come on, girl. Hey there, mister. Hello. Yeah, that dude's the right way, though. We'll just lean to it. Uh, where are we heading now? Back to Valentine, innit? Yeah, back to Valentine, head to the bar.
with all these pelts to the butcher. You good for nothing, cheating bastard! I ain't hearing no more of this. I want to. You got this. Who else wants some? Huh? <laughs> Who else? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Ready? Would would he be frowned upon to be loot to loot him? Oh Lord. Okay, so I got a bit negative for looting the other body. I'm not too fussed about that. Um. Hey, partner. Howdy. Where's the guy gone? Get this old man can't get a goddamn break in this town no more. Not a damn one. A fella I know got kicked to death by a horse. You believe that? Yep. Things going okay? Okay there. Hey, mister. Okay, I don't know why he's not showing up the um uh... Let's go. Right, I'm assuming we got. I'm gonna go back to camp, drop this stuff off, and I'll head out to them two markers because for some reason uh, we must have to do them markers to continue. Oh, where? It's not a black squirrel I wanted, it's the rabbit. Goddamn rabbits. Careful, Arthur. Leave him alone. Go on. 
away with you. <laughs> but you said get away with you. Now leave the rock throwing to the grown ups. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yes, Arthur? At least the horses like you. I know. So, we'll see what we can donate to camp. Hey, Arthur. Okay. I'll beat you next time we play off. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Contribute. Items. So. Right, so we'll go to what's his face. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Now this I can work with. Can't wait to taste this. Right, so Oh, Thank you, Arthur. Right, because there's nothing else around here. I'm assuming we have. There's nothing else literally around here that I can see. So we're gonna have to head out to this dude probably, and then head out to the Micah Bell dude. There, Arthur. You seem in a good mood. I guess. I guess. Won't take long. Right, so we'll head to Javier, whatever his face, Esquela, dude. Lady, all good here? Yeah. And then we'll head to Micah Bell. But we need to find some more money. Because we're running low on money. I spent a lot on guns, to be honest. Uh, maybe a bit too much. Okay, what's this over here? Okay, we'll head to this then. One sec.
There we go. This is what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. Their tasks, challenges. Shoot five. Oh yeah, I could have shot birds. I've seen loads of birds. Uh, right. So yeah, let's head this way. See what uh is over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Nope. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. Okay. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've okay. spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hole gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Okay. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Uh. Well, I'm interested in the map, but not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? Hey, hey what is your problem? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you're funny. No voy a morir por este mapa estúpido. Okay, you required a map that he said to be shown location as his chat. Well, I'm, I've literally saved his life, so... Not my fault. Right, so let's have a look. So we're on top of the hill, we're looking for two... prongs or whatever, two like, prong things or whatever. Uh, so, I think that's it over there, is it? Possibly. Okay, there's another question mark there. <laughs> so let's head to that one then. Uh, not, we'll do treasure maps after. Treasure maps, sir. Let's go, girl. Uh, this way, innit? Hey friend, 
What can I do you for? Just admiring your horse there. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Okay, what happened to him? His horse is there, but where's the person? Yep. As much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could really? explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. Okay. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart. At your service. Okay. Hey, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Uh, we need to shoot five birds uh, on a train, don't we? There's a train right there. Ah, oh, I forgot to pick up my friggin' rifle. Wanted? What, for shooting birds? Not that one.
There's no one on the train. God damn it. I wasn't trying to rob the train, you all saw it. I was shooting some birds. I don't know how long I'm you, but if you're but your crimes won't be forgiven. If you are spotted by a lawman in a red area again, you'll become wanted again. Wasn't my fault. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. <laughs> I'm in a post the bounty on your head, avoid them or pay off the bounty at the post office. Yeah. Gotta pay off the bounty, really? I didn't even make that much money from robbing the train either. Bounce on to his previous crime committed at the post, pay off your bounty at the post office. I didn't even make that much and it's a nearly a two hundred dollar bounty. I'll keep the bounce here, I'm not wasting the money. See, I was wearing a mask and everything, so...
Listen, we don't need any fuss. You just take that mask off, all right? Okay. Okay, then. Oh, there. Well, all right, then. Thank you. Say, $190. I don't even have enough to pay it off. You're paying it all off, then. Good for you, I guess. I ain't paying nothing off. I don't know if you're even if I'm going the right way. Jeez, uh, that's a lot of messing around. Can't cut through there. Blackwater, so the area is in lockdown, shown by a red marker. Okay. You'll become wanted if you're seen by the law. So, uh, simple, don't get seen by the law. Sean? No, I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Just. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Yeah, we'll bend in the black water, see how things lie. The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah, Pinkertons. See ya. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. I think he's bait. I don't want to try them publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Cool. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go sing. Let's go rescue Sean. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. 
See if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Watch it. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. <laughs> cute, dear boy. Very cute. <clears throat> Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Okay, so the boat's packed up. Hey, they pulled into shore. Oh, right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's <laughs> definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Okay, what's your idea? We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Sounds like okay. a plan. 
Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> okay. Kill him, man. Let's get after him. A pleasure, <clears throat> as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Need as much money as we can if we're gonna try and pay off his bounty at some point. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Take him down. Got a damn army of these bastards. How much is Charles bound? Maybe we should try to make it. Still. Oh. Keep shooting the hats off.
yeah, see him. Right in the Swede. Finish looting. Quick, Arthur, before any more show up. Hey, morning. He'll be fine. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share is the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. Yep. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the job yeah, is back like in your bullet in the now. gut. Uh, crime reported. Right, so we've done this area. Um, been to Blackwater. Ah, wait, there's a... There'll be a question mark right there. So we'll head to... That's once we head out of the area. Um, see what the next progress is and challenges. We still got to kill for it. Another. Uh, it's not a kill another rabbit.
As soon as the wanted ends, then I can speak to him, I'm pretty sure. Turn us a later date. Okay, so we'll head out for Micah Bell then. Um, we'll head up to Micah. Uh, hey there! I'm right here if you need backup, partner. Hey, you! Get the hell away from here! Don't take no shit! I'll help you drop this fool if you like. It's all good. Calm down. Out of the damn way! Okay, okay, keep your hair on. You're a damn yoker. Ah. Ah. Okay. The freedom, yes. The lighting. Mm. Morning. Oh. Hello. Play the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and... Pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. A sneaky one, too. Wildlife photography. Coming back. Okay, looks like I have to uh, run back. Don't know why I can't just jump on the horse. I mean, save time and everything. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Okay. Uh. Uh, let's go rescue Micah Bell.
Yo, mister, what's up? Okay, fair enough. I think I kind of messed up by shooting that rabbit. Right, so... We shall rescue Micah Bell from jail, however we're going to do that. Uh, hey there, mister. Howdy. Yeah. See what's going on. Strawberry. Come on. Morning to you. Howdy. You got a problem? Go find someone else to work. Just calm down. Watch it. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. I'm no deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Jones. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. <laughs> well, I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Hmm. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Maybe. Tomahawk. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on.
Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Yeah, you clear my house, leave it. I'm collecting what's mine. Let's go. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here.
gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half the town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you now have an off hand holster. This allows you to carry two sidearms and one central weapon. Cool. So. <laughs> Look at all that red. That's a lot of red. Uh, $190 bouncy in there, an $85 bouncy over there. Yep, we've got a lot of places, a lot of places after us. And we don't have the money to. Uh, I don't have the money to pay for him, so... Hi there, mister! Hi. How do we find out where our goodness thing is? So, um got an exclamation point here, so we'll see what this exclamation point is. Uh, Good to see you back, sir. That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. Yeah, as if someone's got two hundred and seventy five dollars. No, I'm keeping I'll keep the balance here, I'll drive off the money. Thank you. Really? I'd rather have the money in my pocket. Head back to camp. Um. Hey, 
Easy. The hell? Oh, there the wolves are, shall we? Let's go see what this dude is. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Just curious is all. No need to get rattled. Sure looks like another pile of shit crumb donut. Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm. Anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo he -ah. I got gold. I got gold. Alright, so we need pump action on that. Yeah, man, we can we'll see what magic we can do. Got a big ass bouncy after us, anyway. So. Curious, why is that grayed out?
I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go. Well, no I'm back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Strauss, it's a party. And don't you worry, Mr. I'm in an excellent mood. Are you seem in a good mood? I am. Okay, sorry. I can never tell. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Running like Great. a clockwork. <laughs> I love you <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Damn it, Sean. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Why if I join you fine folks? I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever. If I may say so. Beer. Beer. Let's get drunk. Come on. He'll be drinking till dawn now, what does? Oh, let him Listen, have some my fun. friend. <laughs> He's been through a lot. You know I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Did you miss him? Whiskey. We'll do whiskey. A lot of whiskey. that spent every waking minute just screaming and leaving and and then they left and then they jumped back in again stupid you know what that, that taught me something and 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 it taught me something i will never forget and that's the most <laughs> okay. i just get blackout drunk Thanks for asking. Good for you. Good, take care. Chug! This dude can handle his beer. I take your eyes off me, Doc Karen. Can't you? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> can you blame her? <laughs> the delusions of you. <laughs> You didn't need much excuse. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. <laughs> Come on, Arthur, blackout drunk. How many bottles of beer and bottles of whiskey do we need to drink?
Surely you gotta be able to be blackout drunk. Eh, we'll, we'll sleep. Come on, Arthur. Go to sleep. So, we have rescued Micah. We've been to Blackwater to rescue Sean. Um. And now we've got a new mission. Well, I'm gonna crack like a sausage if I don't move. Not bad. Okay, what's this for? Mr. Pearson! Take cigar. Yeah. Evening, Arthur. You did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. I love you too. <laughs> Robert Homestead. Cool. Uh, yeah, just let me clean a gun first. Uh, oh, you can't while you're in camp. Uh, yeah, well, Robert Homestead. Not too busy. Yeah. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. Oh, Sounds yeah. pretty dubious. Of course, yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Let's go exactly. rob us a homestead. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure. Oh, last. Already feels like Sean's been back forever. Well, he makes his presence known. Right, so let's go. Rob has a homestead. <laughs> at least it looks like we don't have to fast travel. Well, at least we don't have to uh, ride all the way there. But I've got a feeling we'll end up having to ride all the way back. Because you, you either get a choice to ride there or ride back, depending on the story. Okay, we're Going on foot from here? Did he... <coughs> I'm choking. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Cool. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially yeah. on their turf. Oh, well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <laughs> Damn it, Stark. No. Big place, right? You got your binoculars? Yeah. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And 
I got an idea. Follow me. Okay. Get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too. Good cover that he sent us. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you would put the pig this time on the bow. Creepers, man, don't score no dissenting flaming head. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone for ten minutes, I was. Gag all the nowadays, huh? Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Oh, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up with you. Go guard the shed. Go! Okay. You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be Can I join? Can you join? Join what? A story mode. What the hickory happened here? What the hickory happened here? We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey, aquí locos. What the hell? New plane story. Yeah, this is story mode. Get out of the way, dude. Right in the sweet. Because the online's not the best, to be honest. Uh, from, from what I remember, it was pretty uh, boring. There wasn't much to do on it. Oh! Oh, right in the sweet, and it was a woman. Let's loot the bodies. Yeah, let's check the barn. Uh, yeah, there wasn't really much to do on story mode, to be honest. Um, last time I I played it, there was barely anything to do. It's a big map, but it's nothing compared to what Red Dead Redemption was. Um, Red Dead Redemption had so much to do on it, whereas on here, you've not really got that much, to be honest. There's no place else I could store it. Okay, let's push. Hey Arthur, give me a hand here. So right next to you, dude. Oh yeah. Well, look what we have here. Ooh. I 
told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Let me guess, I gotta give a, the gang a share. <coughs> right, so there's a woman up here. Uh, oh, there was. Let's loot her. That's not bad. Technically, we've got enough to pay off all our bounties <laughs> that we've got. But do we really want to pay off the bounties? Because I don't. Oh, there's even more money. Right, so that's that. Uh, right, so let's... We'll check the house and we'll check this little, little uh, area that was in here. See if there's anything that we can take. Uh, examine search drawers. Every little helps. Right, so that's that. Is there anything else we can rob? You found a cigarette card once all the cigarette cards are done. Okay. Right, I think that's everything in this room, is it? Let's have a look. Eh, I'm not too fast about premium cigarettes, I've already got enough of them. We need to check this area because apparently the law might be with us at any time. You are now cold, while cold. Okay. So, we're cold, so we need to change our outfit at some point. I would say check the fireplace, but there's the fireplace is already on, so the fire's on, so I can't even check the fireplace. Might as well just clean it. Make it shine. At least then we can uh, grab that other gun oil that's in there. So we can't say premium, see we've got too much stuff. Uh, let's check the back room. Is there anything in here? Search the nightstand. Draw. Okay. Gotta get our loot on, man. Come on, why we got too way too much stuff? Guava rum was that, or guama, or whatever it says. Guama, whatever. It is. Uh. Right, so we'll check the other room and then we'll head out. We've made quite a bit. Of money off this, we killed everyone anyway, so it's not like we've got to worry about anyone uh, uh, find cigarettes on it. Premium cigarettes, sorry. Okay. Nothing in there. Hair palm. Everybody loves a bit of hair palm. Uh, 
anything over here. Hair tonic. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to accelerate the, uh, the hair growth. Ooh, weapon case. Now this is what I'm after. Is it something good? I've already got a pump action shotgun. I don't really need that pump. Yeah. I've already bought one to be honest. I bought one ages ago. Right, so done good. We made uh, quite a couple hundred bucks. And I think we're quite far away from camp. Let's have a look. Yeah. And we got a hundred and ninety dollar bounty. Well, this is gonna be fun trying to get back to camp. Yeah, hey, shut your mouth. I'll kill you. We've already got a hundred dollar hundred and ninety dollar bounty. What's another ten dollars? Being a witness. Why are you hassling me? Hey, you don't think I did this? Do you feel like? <laughs> she just walked away, dude. She just walked away. All that for a silver buckle and 49 cents. Yeah. Nobody messes with that, I'm not gonna get away with it. Uh, let's get back to camp. Let's get back to camp and then we'll call it a day, I think, for this one. We've been on it for a while. These trails are pretty dangerous. So we've got 109 star bounce here. I'm hoping that he'll just go away in time. I'm not paying it. Unless he starts to annoy me and starts getting me killed while I'm doing the missions. If he starts doing that, then I'll probably end up paying it. Thank you. 
shouldn't be that far from uh, the camp now. Yep. Hopefully, anyway. I think it's just over in the distance in them trees. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay, what's this? Looks like a shooting quest or something. Good morning, Arthur. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. It's so simple. Even you get it, Arthur. Well, thank you. Right, so, um... We're back at camp anyway, uh, I'm going to call it for this one. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you on the next one. So, Peace. Whatever did happen with that Mary Gill? Okay. Yeah, all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. That's for the best. Sure, of course. I never did like her very much. Okay, right, yeah, so. <laughs> interrupted by the game talk, but yeah, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.